So you've, uh, you already spent two years with us here in the uh, Peace Corps. Pretty big sacrifice, considering what you gave up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a sacrifice I kind of had to make, because I really wanted to help people who couldn't help themselves. But that time there was very rewarding. Like, I felt like I got a lot out of what they got, if that makes sense. Well, it's, uh, you know, like uh, we say in the Corps, uh, it's a, it's a full-time job. Are you uh, ready to uh, head on back to Costa Rica? Yeah, you know what? I think I'm ready for that. Uh, I just do have to handle a little bit of local business, and uh, someone else would have to come with me. Is that going to be a problem? Hey, um, oh, thanks for being so cordial about this. Nothing short of amazing. No problem. You and Fix still doing well? Yeah, he's great. Thanks for hooking us up. Yeah, uh, where is he? Oh, he's out driving Blair around to job interviews. Your ex Blair? The Blair? Yeah, he's just a friend now. It's fine. Then Fig is just so nice, he offered to help him out. Fig offered? You sure you didn't talk him into it? I'm sure he's pumped to hear about you guys being together for four years. Did you not tell him? No, I didn't. We're just friends. Oh, are you seriously judging me? I'm just saying, I think Fig should know. I think he really likes you. Yeah, you're right. I should get a friend and have Blair fake date them so I can see him behind Fig's back. Is that how you do it? I deserve that. It's very childish, but I'll take it. Yeah, hello? Why does Shelly keep calling me? Oh, please just play cool. Yeah, Shelly? No, no, that was just a friend. You want me to meet you for lunch? Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, bye. Thank you so much. I do not know why Fig keeps talking about you like you are so loyal. Fig's been talking about me? I gotta go. Wait, what's he saying? I'll see you later. What do you say about me? Hey! Hey, come on. Are we still on for dinner tonight? Oh, hey, how'd the job interview go? Uh, they said they'd get back to me. Cool. Uh, where to next? You know, man, it must be great having everything you want. What do you, um... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good life. I got a good thing going on here. Yeah, you got a house, a job, the girl. Uh, I'm actually in between jobs. Oh, I'm sorry about that, man. Hey, at least you got that great house, huh? Yeah, it, um, it, it's it's not a house. It's it's a great apartment with my best friend. Oh, man. Hey, what's it like dating a girl who dated your best friend? No, um, that. How, how do you know about that? Uh, DK told me she was venting to me in an email once. We sent like little emails back and forth over the course of a day. You know, it's not a big deal though, because you got a girl, a great girl. You know, she's the best, and I know because of the four years we spent together. Probably the best years of my life. You and DK went out for four years. Yeah, man. She, she didn't tell you. No, I mean, maybe she did. I, maybe she mentioned it. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, well, you know what? We're just great friends. That's all it is. We're just great friends. You got a good one, man. We actually just started dating about a month ago. Maybe I haven't gotten to know her that well yet. Well, things are going all right, right? Yeah, I um, thought so. Look, man, I'm just excited to be here, you know? My best girl with her new bow. It's an exciting time, man. I really appreciate you helping me out with like job interviews and taking care of RDK. I mean, you were with him for four years. I guess it's the least I could do. You know what, man? I'm gonna do something for you. I'm gonna cook up like a big dinner tonight for all of us. DK's place. You can invite your best friend. Just come on over. Um, that sounds great, but I actually got the show I gotta get to tonight. He already told everybody. Yeah, man, I emailed DK earlier. She sounded pretty excited about it. Well, that's what I got from what she wrote. Couldn't see her face. You know I was gonna see you later tonight. I know, but I just had some really good news to share and I wanted it to be just the two of us. Okay, you have some news? Mm -hmm. Will you be one of my bridesmaids? Shelly? <coughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you barely know me. Nonsense. We're practically best friends in the making. I mean, my future husband is best friends with Fig, 
and let's face it, you're not getting any younger. What does my age have anything to do with it? I mean, like, you'll end up marrying Fig and I'll be one of your bridesmaids and, you know, it, I don't know, it just all fits together so perfectly. <laughs> Aren't you excited? <laughs> Aesthetic. So you'll do it? It'll be so much fun picking out the bridesmaids' dresses and my wedding gown and the flower arrangements. I promise you'll, you'll look amazing, but <laughs> not better than me. <laughs> you know, Shelly, I wouldn't want to disappoint you, so let me think about it. Uh, I'm gonna get back to you tonight at dinner. I don't understand. I thought you'd love this. Like, Stanford said you'd like it. I have to go to work. But I'll see you tonight. I have to go. Okay. I'll take care of the chicken. I mean, you try looking a baby in the eyes and telling him he's a liar. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm, smells good, Blair. Hey, babe. Hey. Oh, I miss that, you know? The babe and the kiss hello. It's... it's young love is so great. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Come on. I can't wait to eat. We need to talk. Yeah. I know. You know? I know. That smug bastard is your ex? Oh, yeah, just be nice to him. Nice? Yeah, I was gonna tell you, but I didn't think there was a point because it was so long ago and... It was nothing. Hi! Hi, guys! Come on in! Hey. Stanford? <laughs> Fig? Okay, you two really need to get over it. <laughs> get over what? Oh, look! Cabernet! We should drink this immediately. Yeah. Sure. I hope everyone brought their appetites, huh? Oh, wow. I'm ready for this. There, that looks great. Bird coming in the nest. <laughs> so, um, how do you know DK? Old friends I heard? Yeah. Roasted chicken, huh? Oh. It's five bucks at Costco. He's an ogre. This, really, this is amazing. You know, once you take a bite of that, I think you'll realize it's not your average chicken, Stanford. <laughs> this is fun. You know, everybody around the dinner table, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. First of many, right, DK? All right. Cheers, guys. You know, what'll make this night a whole lot better is if I go get taboo. Oh, God. Always with the taboo. Yeah. <laughs> Fig, how about charades? Yeah, I like charades. That's right. You guys both love charades. Well, I love taboo, and I haven't played in ages. <laughs> Blair, it looks like you're the tiebreaker. You know what? I'm actually just here and enjoying the company. So I guess whatever you want, Fig. I Taboo it is. I'll be right back. You know, actually, speaking of good company, I'm so glad to be here. It's my good, dear friend, DK, and her new friends. Oh, that's so nice. We've actually been through a lot. All those years I spent in Costa Rica, I was working to build houses for the underprivileged and uh, working with Doctors Without Borders, giving uh, TB vaccinations to people who needed it. You. What are you trying to say, Blair? Before I left all those years ago, I asked you a question I shouldn't have asked yet because I wasn't ready as a man. Fig! Yeah, uh, go ahead and eat. I'm coming. Uh, is something going on? Yes, yeah, something no. is definitely going on, Shelly. What am I missing? So much. Look, I've actually been offered a job already. They want me back in Costa Rica with my unit, and I asked them if I could bring my new wife. Holy shit, Fig, get in here! And then earlier, Fig was talking to me, explaining to me you guys weren't very serious, so I thought now would be a good time to ask you. Uh, hey guys, what's all the noise about? I love you, Dabney Kating. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs>